guys good morning welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if it's your first time you are most welcome guys if you're coming back you don't know yeah thinking i'm gonna just be rocking my bald head on camera from now on okay you might get a wig here and there or you might get a hat or something but i'm gonna be wearing my bald head okay because i have no time putting stuff on taking stuff out this is me okay accept me for who i am and good morning to you girls and boys good morning um i'm gonna make me some um coffee um guys yesterday right if you see the vlog yesterday vlog i made some i made like a sushi bowl but i used tofu and there was a half of tofu left over so i um get this bread out the toast not only bread but my piece of tofu I'm gonna to talk to you about right so I had I used half of it to make my bowl so the other half, half I was like let me put some nutritional yeast and um, seasoning and um, what do you call it uh, black pepper and this is the tofu I'm talking to you about that I already pinched a piece off and eat it was a perfect square until I pinch piece off you know I can't wait to eat it all the time so I slice that other half in two and I season it up with turmeric that's why it's yellow and all of that good stuff right put it in the oven with the other one other on the other side of the the, the, the baking pan um, what do you call it baking pan whatever um, sheet baking sheet right I can't wait see I pick it up I wasn't biting it and um, so I make that, but I made it for me. My husband came home and he saw it and he said, what is that? And I said, um, tofu. I made that for my, me, for my breakfast. This man half is go into, you know, I'm vegan. He's not. So if I have tofu here, sir, it's my tofu. He got up and he ate one of the squares this morning. And I guess it was good because he put the other one aside for tomorrow morning. So I just kind of left him a message and said, oh, so you ate my thing and you have the other piece set aside for tomorrow morning it was that good i guess i'm gonna have to make him some because guys now i only have one little tiny slice i'm supposed to have two of these which he ate the thicker piece as well this was the thing you know when you cut it you don't cut it perfectly so you have a little thin slice and a thicker slice he ate the thick i came back i was like where is my set my vegan meat i make and guys i because he ate it and he's not vegan. I pinch a piece to taste out. I'm going to eat my bread. Okay. I pick it up in two seconds. My bread fell on the floor. But I'm going to eat it. Yeah. So he, he ate my. I say all I have to say. He ate my thing. And I guess he like it. So I'm going to make us some. I'm going to get some tofu. And I'm going to make a whole bunch. And you know. Because it's good for him anyways. Protein and it's healthy. It's vegan. So it's better I'm eating that than eating real egg, you know, because I kind of egg, egg, I use like black salt and black salt smell like, you know, when egg, our egg sm can smell like fart, 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 black salt, not, this is not Himalayan salt, guys, I know it look pink, it's black salt, look pink like the Himalayan salt, right, this is Himalayan salt, this is black salt, I know it look pink, but it's black salt, so it smell like, sulfur and you put it in the onto the tofu and it gives the tofu a taste of egg along with the turmeric that give it the color and then I use nutritional yeast and um you know it's it tastes good guys and I'm so mad kind of mad I love my husband and I put nutritional yeast but I love my husband but I wanted I wanted to get down into my nice big sandwich this morning and now I have this little tin flimsy sandwich but I'm glad he eat it I'm kind of you know bittersweet kind of like I want it but I'm glad he ate it too at the same time make some coffee um and then I'm gonna head out to the store and get some stuff not that hundred percent sure what I'm gonna cook but I'm gonna cook and my youngest child is coming to visit today. Tell him to come early because I might have to go somewhere. And, you know, I'll pack him up with his stuff because I have stuff here for him. I always have stuff, you know. Moms always have stuff for their kids. And um, 
I'll pack him up with his stuff that I have for him. So you can, and I'll take him home. I guess I'll get dressed. I'll see. I'll see how the day goes. You just spend in the day with me. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, so first we get our coffee and our little flimsy sandwich. Mmm. That's so good. <laughs> I'm using this today. I was going to use it because it has sugar in it. Was, but then I didn't go downstairs and get milk. And we have no milk up here that I can drink. There's cow's milk in the refrigerator. I don't drink that. Only plant-based. And this is plant-based. This is oat. And um, we have regular oat milk downstairs. I just didn't. I was just being lazy. So I'm going to sit and enjoy this coffee. And then I'll see you guys when it's time. You know, I'll see you guys. You spend the day with me. So I'll see you when I see you. Hey guys, let's go to the stove. I'm going to go to the supermarket. And um, I'm not sure what I'm going to make. Still doesn't decide. Because it's not for me. So I can just make anything. Um... And when I say anything, I mean whatever touch me when I get there, whatever I feel like, you know. If I feel like making some pork chops, I'll make it because they'll eat it, you know. That means I'll make some, maybe I'll fry some drumsticks. They love when I make um, fry chicken. So I'm wondering if I should do that. And, you know, I'll see. I'll see. I don't know. I didn't have anything specific in mind. Um, yeah, so I'll just make, I'll make some, maybe, I'll see, you know, it kind of based on also, if I see something on special, why not make that? Because it's not like my son is coming to visit and he didn't have any special requests. He didn't ask me to make anything because, you know, he's not going to, before he would, but because of the cancer, he's not going to ask me to do anything. He feels, you know. He feels like, why am I going to tell my mom to do it? As a matter of fact, he knows how you feel when you're going through this because my son um, is a survivor of lymphoma. He also had cancer. So he knows that it um, take a lot out of you, um, you know, when you're going through this. So he's not going to ask me. Usually he's ask, he asks me, mom, can you make fried chicken? Or when he come by, can you make me a margarita? You make the best margarita and stuff like that. But I don't think uh, um, he's going to do that um, because of what I'm been going through. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. He will accept. I'm just saying that to say both of them, my husband and my son, will accept whatever I make. You know, so I didn't decide yet what I'm going to make some chicken. I'm thinking about making um, fish. Also, I just want to make two different, you know, I don't want my husband to have to cook this weekend because he cooks too much. He work, he does everything. He, he's too much. He don't relax. So I'm saying, I'm saying I'm going to just, um, I was thinking, not saying, I was thinking I should just make a bunch of stuff so he doesn't um, cook. I cook a bunch of stuff. There's nothing for him to do. That's what I'm trying to say. He can stay out the kitchen. My husband loves to cook and bake. I love to cook and bake. If you saw the other vlog I just baked yesterday. And I think maybe four days before that I was baking. You know, so I'm always in the kitchen. And he's always, and we're always in the kitchen. I need him to take a break. You know. This person not moving, man. This parking, this dri um, driveway is um, in and out, and he's coming out, and he's just in the middle. All right, guys, see you inside. Okay, guys. So I did not take him to the supermarket because copyright. As soon as I got in there and I heard that music, I was like, you know what? You're just gonna have to wait until I come on, and then I'll just show you what I got. All right, so 
I took this out my refrigerator. I'm gonna make rice and peas with some um, pigeon peas. In Jamaica, we call it gungu peas, but they call it pigeon peas here. So we're gonna make that. But that was from, I didn't purchase that. That was from here. Um, this is what I got. I got some potato. Because I'm gonna make some potato salad. I got some oil. It was on sale. Thank God. Because these drinks nowadays are so expensive. I pay $10. $9.99. It's $17. If you you have to spend $30 or more to get for $10. Otherwise, $17. Okay. And guys, this is not for me. You know I'm vegan. But I got pork chops. My husband and my son. I really would rather not do it, but this is my life. You know? I would rather not have nothing to do with meat. Before I met my husband and I was living on my own, I haven't touched meat, meat for a long time because... It was a long time. I don't know how long, but I mean, touch it in my hands. I haven't eaten it in years, seven and a half or whatever years, but um, I didn't touch it either. But I love my husband, I love my son, and they want me to go. Oh, I'm not even showing you what I got. Okay, so I got chicken and pork. Um, daughter, all in. Hey, Key. Hey, Key. Hold on a second, okay? Okay, let me show you what I got and then I'll talk to her. So I got the chicken and the pork. I'm going to cook both of them and I'm going to make the rice and peas, potato salad. And I also got some globe grapes. These are my favorite grapes because they have the seed in them and I feel like they're real and the other stuff is fake is made in a, you know in a dish so whenever i see globe grape i get them and surprisingly they were a little bit cheaper 50 cents per they were 3.49 a pound and the other one was four dollars so we say 50 cents so you get getting this one and they look so delicious that i should have got more i might have to go back and i got this and i can't believe this i used to pay like two for four dollars or two for three dollars sometimes for these things um this frozen peas and carrot that i'm going to put in the potato salad was um this was five dollars and they said this was on sale it was 6.49 for a regular price so i don't know what's going on but good news this sweet potato here i, I don't remember what they call it here in america but in jamaica we call it sweet potato it was a dollar a pound 99 cents a pound so i got three big ones i don't know how much this way maybe six pounds i don't know i would have to look at my receipt and i got cabbage I'm not gonna, I don't know if I'm cooking that today, but I just like to buy. I'm not sure if we have these downstairs, so I bought one pack because I want to start making uh, meal preps. So that's gonna be where I put in one of my salads or whatever because your girl gonna get serious with her food. I'm gonna have my food packed, I'm gonna cook, but let me take care of the boys since my son is coming to see me and he doesn't come that often. Um, that's why I'm going to cook them. That, well, I was going to do that anyways, but it's good that he's come on the day when I do that so he can have some to take with him and to sit and eat. You know, like when my children get to eat some of my food because since they're grown and they don't live with me, this is the opportunity I'm getting today to cook. And I'm excited because my husband maybe think because, you know, my cancer situation, he don't put too much pressure. He's been doing all the cooking. And um, so now he's going to be pleasantly surprised and then hopefully he doesn't cook on this um, this this weekend because he's always in the kitchen cooking and in the backyard doing something and whatever and I'm just so sick of it I want him to rest because he works so hard already during the week you know what I mean so in the weekend come I just want him to relax so I'm gonna also look into apple picking for us to maybe do Monday yeah I think I'm gonna go on a Monday if I farm if I can find a farm that's open on um Monday, I think we're, I'm going to choose Monday because I think a lot of people are going to go this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So I'm hoping that if we choose Monday and we get there like about 12, um, we'll be good. Yeah, there won't be too much crowd, hopefully. All right, guys, so let me go talk to my little baby girl, which is not a little baby girl, but she's my baby girl. Oh, her birthday is next week, actually. She's going to be 33. Really, babe? Yeah, next week. So I have one child this Saturday um is my my oldest boy turned 35 Fabian and then she'll be 33 next week on the 15th 
all right so i'll be back okay guys got the chicken all seasoned up it's a lot and then this is the pork chops all seasoned yeah so i'm gonna get to cooking the oil is hot start browning up this chicken So cooking, um, the rice and peas. I'm cooking this the authentic way. You know, um, look at all that onion and tomato and pepper, thyme, all of that. You can season it with just the powder season and put these on the side. You know what I mean? And then. After you brown it up and everything, you um then you add that. But this is how we usually do it back in the day, but to make it easier, this is unnecessary really. But I really want to do it the authentic way to get that real authentic flavor. You know, so we got rice and peas cooking over there. And we got the chicken brown and the chops is sitting here. And I also already boiled some potatoes, so I'm gonna make some potato salad. Um yeah. So that's what I'm making today. Chicken, pork chops, rice and peas, and potato salad. I don't know what I'm gonna eat because, well I can eat the potato salad because I'm gonna use vegan mayo. So I can have that, but I can have the and I can have the rice. Those are vegan, but I won't be able to have this. So I'm gonna have to make something for me. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And what I'm gonna make, is I might make a cabbage. I might, I'll see how I feel. I just didn't wanna take on too much at once, but I might make it. I might definitely make that. But we'll see how it goes. Alright, so I'll check back in with you guys when I have more progress. Let me finally go get, I washed some grapes. It's sitting in the strainer here and I was munching on that. But it's um, five minutes of two and I didn't have any. Other than the tofu I had this morning and the bread that had protein, I didn't have any. So I'm going to make me just a plain protein shake. No vegetables or anything. I might, yeah, I might throw some berries in it and um, some wheatgrass and spirulina. So spirulina, wheatgrass, and um, and um, blueberries with a Vega protein powder. The one that I show you uh, guys, if you're watching my vlogs, hold on sis, if you're watching my vlogs, then you saw this um, yesterday in the other vlog that I used this. So this is what I'm gonna use. All right, so see you in a bit. Potato salad finish. So I still didn't have my protein shake. I finished my grapes. I'm gonna make it now. That's all we do. We get busy cooking and we don't take care of ourselves and I'm getting hot too. So I'm gonna have to turn on the AC. Alright, so see you in a bit when I have more progress. Okay, so I'm finally gonna take a 10 minute break and add my smoothie. And um, I'm having a piece of the almond. It's a banana bread, but I use almond flour. I was going to say almond bread. <laughs> banana bread I made yesterday. Go check out my vlog. You see the banana bread, what I put in it, what I didn't put in it. And um, yeah. We'll see. We'll check out that up video. <laughs> Alright guys. Things are going great over here. And I'm also cleaning as I go and that's my favorite part. You know, you don't want to just cook and then you have all these packs and pan and everything to wash. So, as food cook and something needs to be washed, I'm trying to just keep everything clean. So when I'm done, I'm done and can just sit down and relax. 
So I'm really proud. You know, feel like I'm getting stuff done and I'm I haven't made I haven't cooked like this in a while. You know, I love cooking. I really enjoy cooking and baking. I baked yesterday, I'm cooking today. Obviously I love it. Um, it's my, one of my favorite things to do. And sewing. I love to sew and dance. What else I love to do? I love, that I'm known for by my children and friends. My children know mommy know how to cook, but I know how to sew, I love to dance, you know. I love a good sale. You know, I'm just bringing you on a little bit of who I am and what I love. Alright guys, so please subscribe, alright? And continue watching. Okay guys, so here goes the brown tea chicken. And the chops, we still have chops fine. We got rice and peas, potato salad, chops that's waiting to be fried. And we got some that's finished over here. So, yeah, almost done. And my laundry is also in the dryer. So, I had a long day. I'm tired. It's like almost four. I'm making a plate. My son is here. This is his plate. Um, you bring this over so you can see it's got some potato salad some fried pork chops and some sea chicken on top of gungo rice and peas Ben, you want to come over here and say hi I'm going to close on my lunch come get me food and say hi to my friend let me close this out so I can hang out with my son Oh, but here he is. This is my baby. <laughs> he doesn't like when I call him baby. Um, he's 28, Anthony. The big old man. But I call him my baby. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for ending with me and spending the day with me. I'm burning up in here in, in the kitchen um, with all the cooking. But I feel so proud of myself. And I know my husband is going to enjoy this. And he will have leftovers. So, yeah. Guess we're not going out this weekend for Friday. I can tell you with my friends and stuff. So, see you in the next video. All right. Bye.